My body went numb like a minute ago. I can't feel a thing from my head to toe. I lost my mind, man, I'm out of control. I can't stop, no, thinking I'm about to blow. Like a dog fly, you will see the bullets fly. War cry, and the rig will be a place to hide. I got something that's deep inside. Like an instinct saying they're gonna be a fight. Uh. I can feel the eye of a hurricane. It's calm now, but I know that it's about to change. I see the fight and the rise from a lot of pain. I feel the energy rise and some change. Yeah, I'm in deep now. My ears ring, it's about to get loud. My heart beats, I'm about to black out. So watch out. They ain't no going back now. 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 Yeah, I'm ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the absolute greatest show in EFED. That is FMW Purgatory. And tonight, I am joined once again by the man, Jack Light. Jack, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, Lee. It's, I'm glad to be back for the second week in a row. Brad hasn't messed up my flight plans. Yeah, I heard you ended up in, uh, what was it, o Oskaloosa a couple weeks ago? I ended up somewhere. I, I couldn't explain it to you. I, I, I just know my family. Oh. All right, I've got a lot to say, so I'm just going to get right down to the point here. So everyone is probably asking the same question. I've heard it a million times. Why is Jack and Mac bad all of a sudden in my corner? Why did they show up out of nowhere? Originally, they just didn't like the fact that Dahlia used the 3MB numbers game against me when I faced him one-on-one -on -one and his little lackeys decided to get involved. So Jack and Matt came out to even the numbers. But we realized after that we would just stick together because we liked what we had here in this new faction. So that being said, from now on, Jack and Mac Bad will now be in the faction with the outlaw, Tyler Ferguson. And after my match last week with Braxton, which he really screwed my eye up. And it was a very bad situation. The doctors didn't like it, but I'm still cleared to go. So, that being said, even though I got hurt in that match, I still beat you, Braxton. Which you know under FMW laws here, that technically since I beat you, that gets me a shot at your title. So, I'll be sure to get in touch with... Uh, I'll be sure to get in touch with management about that some here, somewhere down the road here. But uh, as for uh, why I'm with Jack and Mac Bad, well, everybody wants to play the numbers game here in FMW, and I just found my evening numbers. Well, the outlaw Tyler Ferguson makes the announcement. Jack and Mac Bad have joined forces with Outlaw Country and making his way to making her way to the ring. Sorry, I apologize. Michelle Michaels, the FMW Women's Champion. Yeah, you might want to be careful how you phrase that. You might have to deal with the demon god over that little mistake you made. I'll I'll send him some ribs. He he likes ribs. Everyone likes ribs. Oh, yeah, I mean, some good smokehouse ribs. You can't, can't go wrong with some good smokehouse ribs. Not at all. And just like you can't go wrong with any match that the women's champion steps foot in. And a red... I can't say I know much about Red, so if you know anything, you'll have to fill me in. Uh, I, I don't know nothing about Red. I I know that she's from uh, Fusion. Was uh, When Fusion closed down, she was one of the many contracted uh, that got picked up, but she spent most of her contract at home. 
Uh, well, I mean, getting paid to sit at home and do nothing is good, I guess. Well, let's hope she's in ring shape to take on the women's champion. Let's hope so, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that because she is facing Michelle Michaels. Hope she's got better insurance than Summer Rain, that's for sure. Here we go. Oh! Sucker punch by Red. Caught Michelle Michaels off guard. And Red is actually... Oh! Well, that was short-lived. He was, she's going to have to get a lot of that fast catcher off guard offense if she's going to do anything against Michelle Michaels. Oh! And so far, this is going just about as I would expect it to go. Red is having a tough time with the women's champion. That's an understatement. She's being tossed around, beat up like a government mule. She's falling victim to the power of Michelle Michaels, just like every other woman on the roster. Red rolls to the outside, and this may not have been the best decision. Thank you for it. God, the strength of the wife to the demigod. Oh! There's just nothing you can really do about her power. We've seen it time and time again. The strength of Michelle Michaels may be unmatched in the women's division. You say maybe, I'll go as far as to say it is unmatched. Well, I, I was going to say that, Jack, but but you got to remember the recent addition of Keiva Yamamoto. That That is something you have to keep in mind, but we are still talking about One, Michael. Michael. two. You can name anybody you want, but we are still talking about Michelle Michaels. This is true. This is true, Jack. And, and uh, I think we're seeing firsthand why you should have a little bit more under your belt before you take on the women's champion. Yeah, you definitely don't want to come in off of sitting, sitting on your contract doing nothing because it won't do you any good against her. God. Oh, Lord. Oh, and the spine buster. Oh! Uh oh! Good night, Irene! One, two, three! That went exactly how you would expect it to go. I will go as far as to say Red was uh, not as well trained in the ring as she should have been going into this match. You know, ring rust is a big deal, especially when you're taking on someone like the women's champion. And now we have Braxton making his way to the ring. Well, the swords are new. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that.
Swords don't really have a place in wrestling. Sorry. Best way doesn't have anything to do with kicking heads in. Yeah, that's... I don't know, that's some of that ninja, hentai, dojo crap that nobody understands. But nonetheless, the game TV champion making his way to the ring. And although the swords make no sense, uh, Braxton will kick your freaking head off. Indeed he will, and he will mess her up as we saw last week. And we all know who this is. Only one person with this area of an entrance. The pro fighting champion, Black Dahlia! What do you think Braxton's game plan is coming into this week, coming off of that loss? Braxton's game plan is simple. He has to show everyone that he can still win. He's got to also show Tyler Ferguson that that was a fluke. He's got to he's got to knock out all of the hope out of Tyler Ferguson because once Tyler gets enough energy behind him, momentum behind him, it's really hard to shut down that train once it's on a roll. Especially with a fighting style that he carries, but uh, when it comes to kicking heads off, he's got he's got a rather a tall opponent, you could say here. A man that not everyone likes to be in the ring with. I, I think if they could choose, uh, no one would ever step in the ring with Black Dahlia. But nonetheless, he is here and he is ready for a fight. It looks like he's by himself so far. So far, you can never count out 3MB. I gotta so say, like sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, I, I was gonna say that, you know, I, I wasn't ever expecting to see Black Dahlia in an FMW ring again. I definitely wasn't expecting it either. But what I was gonna say is, if Braxton's gonna kick his head off, I hope he was doing his stretches backstage getting ready. Oh, Black. This is a rather tall opponent to reach. Black Dahlia going right after the the leader of the head kick dojo. And make sure if you enjoy them origin t-shirts and you would want one for yourself, go ahead and write in the comments below. Let's get management to start some FMW merchandise. I will definitely be putting my money into some FMW merchandise. I'm trying to read Braxton's shirt, but he keeps moving. I can't tell what it says either. But only we is the first couple lines. I know the last word is ends. Well, next time I can see his back. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. No. Oh, God. Oh, right to the outside of the ring. And Black Dagger to the top rope. And there, that's what you got to look out for right there. Braxton knows all. He he has a move to get out of any situation. He definitely studies his game plan week to week. Three. 
arguably the most educated feet in FMW. Arguably. And it's kind of funny that he might be facing Tyler Ferguson. Oh, God. For the game title because arguably Tyler Ferguson is the only one that can match the feet of Braxton. Not to mention the power behind his kicks. So really, if it comes down to it for the title, it's a, it's a matter of who can land the last kick. Oh! Who can, who can really take out the other? And that springboard One, cutter was crazy. One, two, no! That springboard cutter was crazy. Dahlia rolls to the outside, Braxton to the top rope. He's in the air! Oh, God! And you know the outlaw backstage is taking notes on both of these men, dealing with 3MB and then whether or not he'll be dealing with Braxton for the game TV title. Now this is just embarrassing. Braxton is definitely someone who studies all forms of the game. He could put you in a pretzel, he could kick your head off, he could match you flip for flip. He could put you in a submission hold. Braxton is a, 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 a child of the game. Definitely not someone you can underestimate. Ooh. But it seems like he's got his work cut out for him with Dahlia here. Dahlia loves a fight. That That is something you could definitely say about the mystery man that we we call Black Dahlia. He likes to fight even though it's not always a clean fight. I wish I could read the rest of his shirt. He needs to hold still. Well, uh, Lee, why don't you just walk out there and tell him that? I, I would, but you know what? I gotta sit here and do my job. <laughs> Origin former tag team champion. So far, it consists of Braxton and Blade, but Braxton has uh, kind of hinted that there is more people in the origin. Who else would you think they would be? I mean, yes. he, he's kind of hinted that it's it's full of, of uh, post of famers. It, it's full. It's full of OGs, legends, if you will. Well, if it's a group full of legends, you better hope we don't have a legend killer here in FMW. Oh! Oh! He caught him on the way in! Crash the side! Rope break. Dahlia is a long mofo. That is just a devastating move, and he will always catch you off guard with it if you're not paying attention. Decide when it ends. But only we decide when it ends. That is a cool t-shirt. One, two. And the resiliency of Braxton. Oh, Flapjack. And Black Dahlia doesn't let up on the OG Braxton. Oh, oh. Hits him. He hit him with his own move. The disrespect. Kiss from a rose to Black Dahlia. One, two, no. And you could have almost said that he sealed that one with a kiss from a rose. Under. Oh, you missed. See what, you, see what I, you see what I did early. <laughs> oh, it, it was perfect. Rolls to the outside is Black Dahlia. 
Well, Braxton regains himself on the inside. Maybe that was a bad move on Dell. He messed up. He took his, he took his eyes off Braxton. Oh! Oh, the strength of Black Dahlia is something else we talk about. He seems just like a, a skinny emo freak, but that man is a monster. He's like Shannon Moore, but, you know. Tough. Oh! Big. Oh! <laughs> it's all over! One, two, three! Braxton wins! Origin! But only we decide when it ends! And Braxton decided that this match was over! And once Braxton made up his mind, there was no telling him otherwise. Oh, we all know how it began. I didn't, I didn't see that on the front of the shirt. But only we decide when it ends. And now, not only does Braxton have to focus on keeping his title, but he's got his eyes set on another. Braxton is a head hunter. He is someone not known for uh, staying inside the bubble. And here we got Yosef Yamamoto and Jeremy Stellhorn, Big Smooth, on their way to the ring. And these guys have some plans to become FMW Tag Team Champions and uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm going to be honest, Jack. I thought that Yosef Yamamoto was going to turn his back on RME. I did, too. Maybe he changed his plans, or maybe he just has uh, seen the bigger picture that RME likes to uh, try to paint. Nonetheless, teaming with Big Smooth here. To try to win RME, that number one contender. And uh, they don't have an easy task. No, they do not. These men have proven themselves time and time again to everyone here in the FMW roster. Ergo, Jaden Templer and Gertz. I've never gotten over that name, Gertz. Uh, he has a first name. That's his last name, I believe. I I don't know That's what his first still, name is. It's still just a fun name, Gertz. I I think it's because the sound his opponents make when he punches them in the gut. Oh, I'm definitely not going to stand in his way. I'm not trying to get punched in the gut. Gertz is one of them people that you would uh, say dynamite comes in small packages. Listen, some some of these smaller people are scary. You know who I would love to see one on one? Gert, Gertz and Crunkman. I'd have my money on Crunk Man. I, I just think that would be a match full of technical wrestling. There would be many pages turned, I'm afraid. Well, only the future could tell if that match ever happens. But jo Yosef Yamamoto starting it out for RME, and we got Jaden Templer. And they're both going out to the referee. Well, I mean, we got the one referee out that's always taking shots. I guess it's time for the next one. Oh! You know, I, 
I can't say that this is exactly where you want to be if you're Ergo. Yeah, you want to be in that number one contender spot, but do you want to be in the ring with Yosef Yamamoto? No. No, I do not. I mean, we've seen Axel Cage beat Yosef, which was no easy task. We've seen Clark come back and beat Yosef, which was no easy task. Besides that, I, I haven't seen anyone beat Yosef Yamamoto that could be considered uh, normal. It's because Yosef Yamamoto is not normal. If you think you're going to be normal and beat him, you're crazy. The return of Clark was something scary. Clark has set his eyes back on the extreme. Ooh, ooh, that was not a good landing for Jaden Templer. No, no, it was not, and it looked like it took a huge toll on him. I swear I heard a bone crack or something. You know, Lee, one, you want to know a match I want to see? What do you want to see, Jack? I want to see Clark versus Malenko, and you can be the special guest referee. You, you, you know, I'm calling in sick that day. I... It just so happens that I got a pre-planned flu. Uh, yeah, you know, weird. I, I, I don't get many sick days, so I, I try to pre-plan my sicknesses. Odd, I know. Brad said you had to be here anyway. Well, luckily, uh, Brad wrote out my contract, and in my contract, I uh, I get three six day, sick days a year. Three. No, not great. No, no, I haven't, I haven't missed a day this year. I, I worked sick the other week. Don't you remember that? Yeah, I do remember that, but I, th I thought you took your three days already. Nope, nope, not yet. Not yet. I, I might have used one. I might have used one. I might be down to two. Oh! Ooh! That arm! That arm that he landed on bad. Still Oh, you can see it. It, it, the toll has been done on Jaden Templer. He, he is not in a good place right now. And sadly enough for him, I don't think this is the kind of match you want Gertz to take over the majority of your team's offense because these are two very big men and Gertz is uh, not. Yosef Yamamoto just playing with his food. Doesn't he always? Oh! Oh, Rob! Rob! One! That was good ring awareness, but um, I'm afraid it might be short-lived, and yep, yeah, I was right. Jaden Tepor trying to get on top of Yosef Yamamoto, but, oh, look at this, coming back. And we're right oh. back on the offense with Yamamoto. What can you do against a man like Yosef Yamamoto? Uh, hope for the best. Uh, catch him on a bad day. Um, tell him that the Chinese buffet is close. Uh oh. Oh God. Take away his yearly supply of honey buns. Yeah, you noticed that too, didn't you? Yeah, he he caught me trying to steal a honey bun too. He wasn't happy about it. I, I sat next to him, well, sat as close to him as I could on the airplane uh, on the way here, and he, he has a carry-on of nothing but snacks. Yeah, like I said, I tried to take a honey bun once. Um, I'll never do that again. Oh, were you on the other side of him? I, I, I didn't think anybody was on that plane besides me and him. because. Oh, no, I, I, him. I was on the other side. And then oh. you saw how angry he got about his honey bun. Oh yeah, I I thought you just I, I I didn't know what was going. I thought I thought maybe he realized something. Else. I, I I had no idea what was happening. Uh, I'm not sure Gertz oh. wants to uh, be fully in this match with Yosef right now. Oh! He's not He's not in a good place between these two giants. Oh, no. 
What is what is going on? Oh! Oh, like you guys need to play this dirty. The referee had his back turned. Well, you know what? Uh, we've been having problems with officials uh, taking bribes. We've also had problems with an official that had half a brain cell left after being attacked every week. Yeah, thank God they got a replacement for her, huh? Yeah. I'll say that. The, uh, and she'll probably be here later what, tonight. What's the uh, invoice from the doctor looking like about that? Um, from what I read, she she had several injuries. I mean, countless injuries. Does FMW have enough insurance to go? Oh, wow. How often is it you see Stellhorn get whipped around the uh, ring like that? Not very often. And Ergo might have found their opportunity. And the opportunity is to keep Yamamoto out of the match. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! God! Oh, the big Stellhorn going after Jaden Templer. Oh, Templer fighting back. Sends Stellhorn into the barricade. Is the dirt okay there? Uh, I, I don't think so. He, he seems a bit groggy. Someone blow him over. Oh. Well, well he, he came back too just in time. Oh, we heard that. Tell me. Ooh. I think it did nothing but make Yosef Yamamoto even more angry. Oh. Uh, I think he's gonna need jaw surgery after that. Two super kicks from some of the biggest men in FMW. Yeah, it may have realigned his jaw. Bringing drug around by the back of his head again. Back to Yosef Yamamoto. And the quick tags by RME. Oh, no. No, not that arm. Oh! These two are showing great team chemistry. <coughs> Dare I say, they show more chemistry than uh, Rich and uh, JMR. Gertz tagged back in and I don't oh oh what Gertz don't do it oh oh my oh my oh my one and wow we got hit wow what did we just see Jack I'm not sure my only question is how does Gertz keep getting so much offense against Yamamoto but Big Jaden Templar can't. Gertz is a different breed. This is what I was talking about earlier. Pound for pound, he is one of the toughest SOBs in purgatory. And look at that! The diving headbutt. Oh! Broken up by Big Smooth. Oh no. What's up with this ref? We're we're not getting a one count, ref. That should have uh, been. He got hit. He got hit earlier. Oh, Stella landed on him, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Oh, oh shit. We're gonna keep hurting our referees. We're gonna. Yeah. Triple C is gonna have to come out here and ref. Oh. Lee, you have to referee the next uh, Malenko match. How about that? No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I am I'm. heard Brad had to do it. You, you got to get up close and personal. Oh! And Gertz is on a roll. Gertz has found an opening. Can Jaden Templer exploit it? Uh-oh. No. No, he cannot. I'll answer your question. The big spoon powerbomb! One! 
Broken up by Gertz. Gertz right back out of the ring. Yosef Yamamoto. Oh! Have you noticed the past, like, four pin, pin attempts have been in the opposite corner, just, like, right in front of the other teammate? You know, I, I, I did, but I... You know, they, they're just trying to get quick pins. I don't... <laughs> oh! Hey, guys, his, let's... Let's, let's be careful. Bounce, his uh, ankle bounced off the table. Yeah, oh! Come on, we need this announce table. Oh! Trey Doll is here, and uh, you guys can't hear him because tonight... He is actually doing uh, the commentary for Puerto Rico. Is he really? Yeah, that, that you hear him? That he's not speaking English. Yeah, I hear him. Ooh. Oh! Big smooth crawl into his corner. His guard's gonna stop him. Gertz took his time. It's like Gertz wanted Yosef, but that might not have been the greatest idea. I don't think it was a good oh, idea at all. Oh, this could kill him. It, it, it's just a small man. Don't do that. Come no, on. No. Yosef. No. Yosef, no. no. Oh, Lord. This I think I think his chest cavity may have came down. Oh, oh, oh roll up! Roll up by Gertz! One! That would have at least been a two count, but Templar distracted the referee. Tim, and when Templar realized who was pinning who, he, he tried to get out but was not fast enough for air go. Off the rope! Oh! That is a big man to be landing on you that way. I know, you, you gotta wonder how Gertz feels right now. There's no way that his ribs aren't broken. You know he's struggling to breathe. Oh, I can hear him from here! Oh! Sounds like he's got gurgles going. He, he might need to be seen by the doc. FMW must be paying the trainers and doctors a lot here lately. Oh, yeah. Did, did you see Tyler's eye? Already healed? Gotta wonder if he, uh, if he used Rich's, uh, black card to pay for that surgery. I mean, I've, I've heard how he paid for it. I'm not, uh, at liberty to discuss it at this time. We're just going to say that it didn't really cost him a dime. Eight. Nine. Ten. Poor Gertz getting the last shot in at the end of the match. And the team of Jeremy Stellhorn and Yosef Yamamoto stand tall. They always stand tall. They, they, they're ginormous human beings. I mean, look how tall they are. Uh, I believe uh, Stellhorn stands six foot eight. Oh, wait! That's right in Montana! What? What's going on? He was just carrying him. He was almost lifeless. He, he brought him to the ring. This was rather quick. The bell is wrong. What is this? Montana going right after. Oh! What's going on? Well, we know that Venom does have some history with Triple C. Uh, maybe he made this match official. Slow count by the referee. Not he good. got hit again. 
He got hit again earlier by Venom. He's taking two shots in back-to-back -back matches. Not good. Referees are going to need a little bit better of a, 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 a contract, I guess. That's what New York gets for loading us a ref, huh? I'm confused as to why this is going on right now. Well, I mean, Montana did turn his back on the hit squad several times. I mean, he did, but, like, this was just out of nowhere. Oh! Wraith brought Montana down to the ring. The match was made official. Oh, God! Is this a no DQ match? I, I mean, at this moment, I, I think Venom can do anything he wanted in this match. And he knows it. He heard you say that. That's why he looked over here and taunted like that. Just, just, just lay down, Montana. What? How bad is the three count, really? It gets you out of the beating. Just lay down. Montana is not holding. Oh, he's bleeding. And now he's bleeding. Oh, God. You can't fight back in this scenario. Just lay down. Take the three count. Oh. Venom talking smack to Montana Wraith going after him on. Oh, the outside. Fit him to the top rope! Nope, decided not to. Oh, Montana's running! Did you see how in sync they were with that ring rollout? These guys are on a mission! This is just getting plain ugly. Cover! One! Two! Just stay down. God! Say I, th this is just a beating. How's that saying go? Uh, blood in, blood out. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Breaking the count as much as possible. The hit squad. Would now be a good time to order some barbecue nachos from Sally's because I don't... <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Sally has been expanding her menu, and it is something awesome. It definitely is. There, there has been a lot added, but you still One, can't beat... Two! You still can't beat the classic barbecue nachos. I, I, why doesn't he just stay down? A, I, I guess pride. I don't. I don't know. Oh, town business! Well, speak of the devil. Here's a plate of those barbecue nachos now. Oh! Stay down. One, two, three. I'm, I'm glad he finally decided to stay down for the three count. And uh, this, we just we just seen a murder. He's bleeding like a stuck pig.
Yeah, you know, I, I used to do that for a living, Jack. You used to do what? Oh, uh, stick pigs. I, I, I was a butcher. I, I killed... Well, not a butcher. I didn't, like... Oh. So you mean to tell me that after Michaels has beaten this guy like a drum, from here to Tacoma, and all the way back, that he wants to go one-on-one -on -one with moi? <sighs> you know... I don't understand it. I think it's a really bad idea. I think it's a stupid idea. But if you want to get beaten down and broken down by the very best in the world, then so be it. But when you're looking up at the stars, Venom, I told you. I told you. Well, we just heard from the FMW champion. about his match at Stampede against Venom. And, uh, well, he, uh, I will say, go ahead. I will say he called himself the best in the world, but technically isn't Chris Michaels the man in EOP holding the world title? I mean, the FMW Championship and the Undisputed Grand Championship are on the same level, or should be, but... Uh, you know, you, you can go take that up with Joseph if you want. I mean, I don't think that's something I need to be taking up with Joseph. But, I mean, you know that's got to be a uh, point of conversation in EOP. Uh, it may be. It may not be. I I don't know. But I do know that Summer Rain is making her way down to the ring. And I believe Summer Rain's opponent is a debuting superstar. It's always good to see new debuts. Maybe this one doesn't like putting people through tables. I, I was told we're not supposed to say that too close to Summer Rae and she, she might freak out. Kelly Briggs! Uh, this is another one that I have no knowledge of. Uh, she don't have her own music yet, so she's using FMW Purgatory music. I guess we're about to see what she's made of, considering she's having to face a, a, an F FMW Women's Powerhouse in Summer Rain. Yeah, facing a former women's champion in your debut, that, that has to be a big deal. It most definitely does, and if you win this match, it goes a long way to telling what your career is going to be like. Is, is she related to Rihanna? Uh, I'm not sure, but that forehead is big enough to be like Rihanna. Summer I'm Rain! Sorry, did I say that out loud? Kelly Briggs, yes, she did. Summer Rain, Kelly Briggs! You know, I was trying to get her on FMW, but I doubt that happens now. Oh! Kelly had no idea what to do there! Oh no. Oh! Summer Rain starting this one off with some heavy offense. Well, she's got to get a point across that she's not one to play with. Kelly trying to get in some. Oh, offense as well, but not happening. This is going just like that match that Michelle Michaels had. Well, I mean, Kelly's getting in a little bit of offense now. Oh, blocked. Oh. A rib breaker there. Trying to take the... the right out of you. No, that was exactly what I was about to say. Jack will take the wind. Right out of you, maybe even crack a rib. Some are just staying on the offensive. Oh, wow! 
And she is just ragdolling her around. Oh! Summer Rain trying to make an example out of Kelly Briggs. Oh! oh we're seeing a different side of Summer Rain here. The more vicious attack side. Ooh! Ow! She hit her head on that barricade three times. Yes, yeah, I, I saw that. I was wondering if anybody caught that. We are seeing a vicious side of Summer Rain. It's about time she started showing a more aggressive side. Uh-oh! Oh, backbreaker! Cover! One! Two! Kelly Briggs still alive. Barely. Really attacking. I mean, really attacking. Taking her apart limb by limb. Yeah, I, I have not seen this side of Summer Rain, and quite frankly, I, 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 I don't know if I want to see it again. Well, she's going to be oh! caught up in the ranks of Michelle Michaels and such. She's going to have to keep going this up. Kelly Briggs don't really know what she... Uh oh Oh! 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 Raindrop! Raindrop. Drop top. One! Two! Three! Well... That that was also scary. Wow! Well, welcome to FMW, Kelly Briggs. You were welcomed by a former women's champion. Uh, I hope you respect that. I, I, I hope you have a better week next week. I, I don't know what to say to you. Summer Rain, head into Stampede to take on Michelle Michaels for the women's title. Hello folks. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Eric Wood. I am out here tonight to explain and let everyone know that on August 5th, Saturday, Chris Rich's mystery opponent will be none other than Malenko. Malenko has chosen the match type and it is a fan favor. We're bringing it back just for you three stages of hell and then on august 6th is the stampede we'll have a men's and a women's stampede match for those of you who are new york bound or new york savvy that's a rumble folks we would like to wish chris rich all the best of luck because he's gonna need it Did you hear that, Jack? I did. Saturday before Stampede, this man is taking on Malenko in a three stages of hell. I, I, I've been thinking about this for the past few weeks. How do you think Chris Rich feels about this new GM compared to the last one? Considering the last one, he got pretty much everything he wanted, and this one stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. It doesn't give him anything. You know, Eric Wood and Rich have had issues for a long time. Even when Eric Wood did commentary before he was in management and everything, you know, when he was down here with us little guys, Jack. And I got to say, there's no way Rich likes this at all. Because, you know, the last management, Rich got whatever he wanted, and now he's got someone that stands up to him. How do you think he feels about it? Uh, I, I think he hates it. I, I, I bet you he is just begging for the old GM to come back, but, I mean, we can't even say his name. Yeah, that's not allowed here.
I'll say it, Voldemort. Sorry, Lee, it had to be said. Uh, it's it's all right. It's all right. I'll. I mean, I don't care, but the people yelling in our headset might. Hey, look, Lee, the Slim Jim kid from last week's back. Hey, you know what's funny? Uh, here, we hand him this box of Slim Jims just for him. You know that he, he, his mother actually brought the same thing for you. Oh, look at that! Hey, what are you doing after the show? Oh, uh, Yosef Yamamoto! Yosef Yamamoto! Yosef Yamamoto! What? He's facing Rich? Ladies and gentlemen, this is determined number one contender for the FW chair, the FW Undisputed Grand Title, and Yosef Yamamoto is Rich's opponent! Well, this just got real interesting. We thought that he was just going to fall back in line to Rich Money Enterprise, but it seems that Yosef has another plan up his sleeve. You think this was his plan the whole time, Lee? I, I'm starting to wonder, why, why did he even show up for the tag team match? Had to keep him guessing, I guess. Rich does not look happy. Does this signify the end of Yosef Yamamoto in Rich Money Enterprise? Did you see the way Yosef just stared him down when he walked to the corner? This is not good. The bell has rung. Oh! Oh God! Oh, Rich is uh, Rich has got a plan. Oh, you also have to keep in mind, Yosef already had one match tonight. Oh, he's he's allowed to make that excuse since Rich made that excuse for so long. Ooh! Oh, right to the throat. Yosef is not playing around with his, with his, with his boss, former boss. Food. 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 Ooh. Rich, showing some skill. He he's did something that Ergo wishes they could have done more of, keeping Yosef on his back. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in the uh, RME penthouse after this match. Well, you know, I, I was invited to uh, a banquet Rich is having tonight. If if you want to be my guest, I mean, I don't I don't have anyone else to take. I mean, there's going to be free food. We get to see the drama unfold after this match. You know, I heard there's a big money prize he's giving out. Ooh. Dude. Yeah, I, uh, here, uh, he gave me some tickets. Uh, yeah, here, fi five tickets for you. I, I got ten. <coughs> Wait. Oh! God! If only we could make out what Yosa was just saying to Rich right there. Uh, I don't understand a word he ever says. Wait, he doesn't speak English, so... That's, that's, it, it, it's tough, right? It's tough. Oh! Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, he, he tried to say something to me one day, but I'm not going to repeat it either because if I tried to do an impression, it might get us canceled. Yeah, it, it very much could. And uh, I don't know, on, the, on the plane ride, he didn't say one word to me, but I, I guess he was too busy cussing you out. Ooh! Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if I understood what he said and translated to English, it would have been a chance to go again. I won't say it. God! 
Oh! Don't look at us! Don't don't look at me. Look at Lee. I Man, is it because we smell like nachos? God. Oh! You know what? Next time I'm going to tell him you tried to take the honey bun. I, I don't even know if I could have reached his back. I, I was actually staring down a couple of them ding-dongs he had. Oh! Hog. Paws. Hey, I, I like a good ding-dong. Oh! Paws. God! One! Two! See, even, look, even, even Trey had to stop his commentary and look at you for that one. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, I can feel his eyes in the side of my head. Roll up this referee. Oh, hey, it's the woman. I just realized. Yeah, she's back. I, I don't think she should be back, but she's back. I, I think the other referee had to go. I, mean, I think he got way too beat up. Oh! Joseph moving a little bit slower than normal. I mean, he did just have a match. Tag team division against Ergo. That he did. Yosef, oh, has That's been back, right? one step ahead of Rich this whole fight. He stays one step ahead of everyone he fights. Oh, God. The referee trying to get him off. Okay, finally. You, you think she's going to be able to pull him off? Oh, this is not going to feel good if he lands on him. Oh, God! Oh! Oh! Oh, Rich has to be broken in half! I don't think Rich can breathe. Oh, missed! He missed! Rich is to his feet! Oh! This is where he has to take control. Oh! 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 Million Dollar Driver! One! Two! No! How is he able to still catch and hold his breath after all that? And the money shots pile driver! One! Two! We're gonna take more than that to keep him down. He just won't stay down. The crowd screaming one more time. I don't think Rich has one more in him. I don't oh. think the ring can take one more time. Oh no! 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 We no! We know what's coming. We know what's coming. Oh! Could this one be the end for the king of FMW? This could be as bad as Hiroshima! Oh god! One, two, no! I I don't know how Rich is still in this. I don't know how he's still breathing. He rolled to the outside to try to get some air, but choking the life out of him now is Yosef Yamamoto. Oh, come on! He's literally choking him. Don't tell me they're about to end this thing in a draw. Oh, God! On the concrete. 
What's the count at? Six. I can barely hear. Oh! It. Oh my God! Did you hear Seven. that concert with that concrete? Yeah. Oh, and he's still alive somehow. Eight, both in the ring. Oh no. Oh God. Oh, he's bleeding this time. Rich, I I will pay you a great funeral, buddy. Oh, Lord. One, two, no. He kicked out again. No way. The fight of Christopher Rich. DDT. I can't believe he's still fighting. Oh, that fist, that gloved fist. Yosa's bleeding. Yosef somehow still getting to his feet. Money shot. It's all she wrote. Come on, Rich, pin him. What are you doing? He may live to regret that decision. Elbow drop! Shout out to JMR! One! Two! No! What a main event! What a fight! He should have went for oh. the pin right off the money shot. Rich rolls to the outside. What is he doing? And Yosef laying almost lifeless for a minute. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh! God! That's got to be it. Two, three, Rich wins! Rich wins! Rich what has pinned Yosef Yamamoto Jack! What a main event. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we got for you tonight. Rich stands tall against one of his own. Yosef Yamamoto! And to be a fly on the wall for this conversation after. Yeah, we gotta we gotta meet him uh, outside of his limo. Uh, so we're gonna have to pack up quick. Uh, you guys enjoy uh, getting out of here. Make sure you hit all the merch tables, and we'll see you guys on the next one. I'm Lee Dark. And I'm Jack Light. Peace!